This is definitely one of the hottest new spots to eat Asian food. If you love curry, mm -hmm, make a trip over here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Beverly Hills, which is always a nice place to be at because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest new restaurants in town. Behind me is Chubby Curry. Now here's something you don't see very often, a curry house in Beverly Hills. How unique. And I heard that the curry is whipped up by a Michelin star chef. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. So I encourage you, stick all the way to the end of this video, especially if you're looking for a very good curry house in LA County, because I'm gonna show you one of the top spots here at Chubby Curry in Beverly Hills. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly, you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into Chubby Curry, getting some lunch, and it all looks so good. Here we go. Chubby Curry is part of Chubby Group, which owns restaurants like Chubby Cattle, Makia, Niku X, Wagyu House, all really fantastic restaurants and pretty high class as well. But if you wanna try something a little bit more casual and you love curry, then you gotta make the trip out here to Beverly Hills to check this spot out. They got a pretty simple menu. See, we got the kare right there. And I heard that their popular one is the chicken katsu kare as well as the chubby curry. You see slow cooked Wagyu beef, pretty fancy, all right. And they also have some of these chef specialties like their Sando Wagyu burger. Oh yeah, I'm getting that. And if you want like no curry options, you can do that as well. And if you guys are looking to have some drinks with your curry, it looks like they do have it here, like sake, red wine, non-alcoholic drinks, they got you all covered. Wow, this is something that's pretty cool. So if you come during lunchtime and you wanna do this curry, all you can eat, they have this unlimited Wagyu curry for $28, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wow, first time I've ever seen all you can eat curry. All right guys, this is Shin Thompson, the Michelin star chef. He's gonna show us how to make some of this curry today. So this is our chubby curry. This is basically Wagyu in Japanese curry. And there's potatoes and carrots. It's cooked down over a couple of hours. Fries, with, with, which we serve with a curry aioli, and it's dusted with aonori, it's a Japanese seaweed. And is this like some sort of a curry dip right there? It's a curry aioli, yeah. Okay, nice. Everything is like curry themed here, Everything. obviously. So we have some chicken katsu here. This is one of our signature dishes. It is brined overnight. This is a chicken breast, it's about six ounces brined overnight. So we're making the signature chubby curry right now? Yeah, we're gonna heat up the cast iron pot so that the curry stays nice and hot. Oh, that's a big bowl of rice. That's awesome. Big bowl of rice. The chubby curry comes with our charred broccoli. This is pretty fun. This is my first time in a curry kitchen and what better place than here at Chubby Curry by award-winning chef. Now, this is a really gourmet recipe they got going on here. And it's not just dine-in, but they also do takeout. So if you guys want to take out here and enjoy it somewhere out in Beverly Hills, then go on ahead. All right, so the first two starting off. Yes, these are two of some of their best sellers. We got the chicken katsu curry, Japanese curry with a special chef's recipe, and that's the chicken itself. Brined beautifully, it's nice and plump. Uh, crispy panko breaded chicken. That is the way I like it. So yes, in here we got some carrots, potatoes, some green onions on top, and it smells wonderful. And it does come with rice, because you need that, along with pickles, and their house salad. Before I dig into the chicken, I think it's best to start by trying some of that curry, right? Oh, that's, that's very good. Tastes just like a traditional Japanese curry. And I noticed that there's kind of a sweetness to the taste. I don't know if that comes from the carrots or some other ingredients inside, but it's, I think it's pretty good. And I think this is the biggest piece of chicken katsu I've seen in a curry. Look how big that thing is. Very thick chicken and it's very tender too. And I heard that they use very good quality chicken. It's like perfectly brined. Okay, so how does it taste in the curry? 
That's the way you gotta do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So of course with the curry, you're gonna dip the chicken inside, but then you're also supposed to really enjoy it with this rice. So yes, if you guys like chicken, get this one. It's pretty good. The famous chubby curry, and it's made with slow-cooked Wagyu beef. Yes, you heard that right, Wagyu, so very high grade. A caramelized dark cocoa curry with carrots and some charred broccoli. Yes, the wizard of broccoli with the rice. Okay, so I just learned that their curry is not just because of the carrots that make it sweet, but there's a lot of caramelized onions inside, even some apples. That's what gives it its like slightly fruity, very oniony type of sweetness. And I do like caramelized onion, whether it's in curry or in burger. Oh yeah, so. Wow. I think between the two, I like the beef one better. Wow, that beef curry is so good. It's tender, it's so sweet, and so uh, savory too. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, this that beef curry is like so worth getting here. I could come back just to eat the beef curry. That's how delicious it is. Whoa, that broccoli is pretty phenomenal. It's like so charred on top, it's oily, smoky. You don't want to just blanch the broccolis, right? Like you actually want to make it taste exciting. And this is some really awesome broccoli. Mm-hmm. This is, you can do all you can eat for lunch. So if you really love this beef curry, then I suggest you come during lunchtime and just pay that $28 and go all out with it. And if you guys like sandwiches, they do have a buffalo chicken katsu sando. I always like chicken sandwiches, especially if it's katsu. So we got buffalo aioli and slaw in there. Oh, beautiful, yep, I see it. Uh-huh, let's put that back. There's a big piece of lettuce inside. So you might get your hands just a little bit dirty, just letting you know. That is like eating a chicken burger. It's such a mouthful. The chicken katsu is breaded and fried beautifully. It's like crispy. The chicken itself is very sauce. Wow, that thing is so crispy. So I'm more of a traditional kind of guy. I like my chicken katsu over rice, you know, with the curry and everything. But if you have it burger style, you're not gonna go wrong with it. It's very good. And this is one of those foods that I think is very good for lunchtime. You know, whether you eat it here or take it to go. So we're gonna make our burger here. So our burger here is pretty special. Uh, this is a Wagyu beef burger. And we actually, uh, from our other restaurant, Niku X, get all the trimmings. There's about five or six different cuts of beef. We always sear it in a cast iron pan. And that really, that really gives it a crispy outer shell. All right, so we're gonna season it with some salt and... Just, just salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it goes. And I don't need any oil or anything because that Wagyu has fat in it that's gonna release. And uh, now I got my caramelized onions also in the pan. It's already cooked, so I'm just gonna heat them up lightly. It's flipping the burger. Oh! Wow, that's perfect. Look at that. So you want kind of like a crispy crust on there. And we'll do the same to the other side. Up in the salamander. And then it just cooks in there for a little bit, right? Yeah, just another minute. And then our onions are done at this point. So we're going to let that just sit there. Pretty much there. Oh. See that nice crust? Yeah, it does look very crusty. Yep, and still juicy in the center. So that's the, the goal that we want to achieve. This crispy crust and juicy center. And then our onions are ready to go. So it's going right on top there. So our burger is just gonna rest there. Got their famous burger and we got their famous fries. So this one is their Wagyu burger. So this burger has curry aioli on the buns, caramelized onions, eight ounces of pure beef deliciousness. And this is their famous curry fries. So they're waffle fries, kind of like the ones you'll find at Chick-fil-A, but more elevated. Comes with some, let's see, aioli seasoning and the curry aioli itself. Burgers and fries, see? They got it here at this curry house as well, uh-huh. 
And these are really good looking fries. Wow, those fries are so crispy. Very soft inside too. That sauce is, um, you know, it tastes just like mayo, but with more of like that curry flavor. Okay, first time I think I've had like a curry aioli in a long time. I know I've had it somewhere before in the past, but I just can't remember. But definitely they have it here. So that's not cheese, that is curry aioli. And it's supposed to make this burger taste really good. Wow, phenomenal. You know what I really love is the crust that's on the top and the bottom. So the crust is so perfect, it's like crispy. Yeah, and then inside is like so juicy. This thing is cooked to about medium. Yeah, that's the way you wanna cook this burger. This is a gourmet burger. This really tastes like a burger that came out of a fancy restaurant. So yes, get it. Even though I would recommend that beef curry as the first one, if you get this one, you're not gonna get to be disappointed. Udon Nomi, cool name, huh? So it's thinly sliced Wagyu roast beef round, and we got some mushrooms in there, Japanese curry sauce, and all that udon noodles. And by the way, if you want your curry spicy, usually they don't make it spicy, but you can request for kamikaze sauce. You dunk it all in, make it very spicy. Oh, oh, that's very spicy, okay. You gotta be careful about that. Whoa, whoa, I feel it creeping up on me, okay. I don't think I've ever had udon with curry before, like all that curry sauce on top. So there are some mushrooms and some slices of beef that's in here as well, which is very tasty. Mm. Oh, very good. I wouldn't say it's the first thing I would order when I come to chubby curry, but if you do want to try a noodle dish, it is pretty good. So just letting you know. So yes, come on by here to Beverly Hills and try something different here at Chubby Curry. Get some awesome curry. That's really the real deal. You really can't miss it. All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to Chef Thompson right here. Really awesome guy. So when you come to Chubby Curry, look out for him. Uh, tell him you saw this video. He's gonna take really good care of you, right, Chef? Absolutely, come on in, guys. <laughs> All right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.